In this video, you'll learn about when you should consider using a regenerative medicine treatment option if you have rheumatoid arthritis. Hello, this is Siddharth Damber from Chicago Arthritis and Regenerative Medicine, where we specialize in the treatment of arthritis, tendinitis, injuries, and back pain. On today's video, I'll be talking about when you should consider utilizing a regenerative medicine treatment option, such as platelet-rich plasma or bone marrow-derived stem cells, if you have rheumatoid arthritis. Rheumatoid arthritis is an autoimmune condition, meaning that your immune system is unfortunately recognizing your own body, in particular joints and tendons, as foreign and is attacking them, causing inflammation, which then results in pain, inflammation, swelling, and permanent damage in the joints if not caught early enough. Regenerative medicine is the newer field of medicine where we utilize your own body cells, including your own platelets and bone marrow drive cells, as well as other tissue products from your own body to treat that sort of condition of arthritis and tendinitis. In the past, a diagnosis of rheumatoid arthritis was almost certain to lead to a lifetime of severe pain and chronic disability. In the last few decades, that's really changed in large part due to the sort of medications that are utilized for this condition. These medications are immunosuppressants, and that means by modifying and slightly suppressing your immune system, you can control a condition like rheumatoid arthritis, which will then prevent that significant inflammation as well as significant progression of the condition. That's been a wonderful thing for most people who've taken these medications and has really changed the outcome of this condition long term. There are, however, a number of reasons why a person may consider utilizing regenerative medicine. First and foremost, a person may just have a preference where they don't want to utilize medications. It's super important to understand that while there are a few decades of evidence of utilizing a traditional standard medication protocol to treat this kind of condition, there's really very limited evidence that the newer regenerative medicine treatments utilized in a expansive manner is appropriate and effective in a condition like rheumatoid arthritis. So going against a typical standard of care should be taken cautiously and done in a appropriate and focused manner where it really makes sense. Another reason why it could be appropriate to utilize regenerative medicine in rheumatoid arthritis would be if there were a contraindication to utilizing the kind of medications that are generally used for RA. So the medications that are used for rheumatoid arthritis are immunosuppressive. You need to be cautious in a few specific cases, including if you have active cancer, if you've had a recent cancer diagnosis, you may be able to utilize some of the medications in rheumatoid arthritis, but some of them need to be avoided. In addition, if you're someone who's really prone to infections or at high risk for infections, you need to be cautious with immunosuppressants as well. So those are two cases where going against a typical standard of care would be considered, where utilizing a regenerative medicine approach could be utilized in RA. As a general rule, if you have severely active RA, meaning 10, 20 plus joints that are actively inflamed, I think it really makes sense to treat that systemati systematically. And that means either utilizing the typical medications that are used and certainly also utilizing any sort of nutritional or supplement approach that can help reduce inflammation also. I would not recommend utilizing a regenerative medicine approach if you have that many joints involved. It's just very hard to get a good outcome if you have 10, 20 plus joints that are involved. It's better to get the overall inflammation under control and then reassess to see if someone would benefit at that point. On the other hand, if you're someone who has RA where generally the condition is under control, but perhaps there's one or two joints that are still inflamed and problematic, utilizing a regenerative medicine approach could make sense. For example, utilizing some of the newer kind of products that are available, including alpha-2 macroglobulin or interleukin 
interleukin receptor antagonist protein may be decent options to consider in those kind of cases. And then there are the more traditional indications for regenerative medicine. So the evidence of regenerative medicine over the last 15 years has been a slow but accumulation of evidence of utility in osteoarthritis and tendonitis conditions. People with rheumatoid arthritis are much more prone to the typical, more common joint issues, whether it's osteoarthritis, tendonitis, back issues, or injuries as well. Just having chronic inflammation makes you more prone to developing damage in the joint from wear and tear arthritis. Having actively inflamed joints in the past can also change your biomechanics, which can make you more prone to tendon injuries and other types of ligamentous injuries as well. So in that case, these kind of conditions can be well treated with regenerative medicine treatment options and should be utilized in RA patients. And I would strongly recommend that if the overall inflammation is under control, that for those more common conditions, that utilizing platelet-rich plasma and bone marrow-derived stem cells can be very beneficial. The next question is, what sort of orthobiologic treatments should you use if you have rheumatoid arthritis? So again, if your issue is more of a common one, such as osteoarthritis, tendonitis injuries, or back pain, then I think utilizing platelet-rich plasma or bone marrow-derived stem cells can still be very beneficial in patients with RA, and I think it's a good treatment option if you failed physical therapy, over-the-counter supplements, activity modification, posture correction, and bracing. I think it's a much better option than what's typically utilized in RA patients for their osteoarthritis and tendonitis, which is classically steroid injections. The steroid injections are a problem because on its own, it's deleterious for tissue. It can lead to more side effects long-term as well. And keep in mind that RA patients have typically been exposed to steroids for their overall inflammation in the past as well. So any way that we can reduce the steroid burden for these people is a benefit to them long-term and would be to their overall health beneficial as well. Alternatively, if the issue is one or two active inflamed joints, but otherwise the overall condition systematically is controlled and systemically is under control, then I think there's some other interesting orthobiologic treatment options that should be considered. Number one is alpha-2 macroglobulin, which is a relatively newer treatment option that can come from your own blood, where you can isolate this compound that has a profound anti-inflammatory effect. Another one that's been around for several years is interleukin receptor antagonist protein. That's another one that you can isolate from your blood that may be beneficial. I think another interesting option is utilizing bone marrow aspirate concentrate derived stem cells. It does have an anti-inflammatory effect. And in my experience, when you have someone that has one joint that is partially inflamed, partially degenerative in etiology, when you utilize something like bone marrow aspirate concentrate derived stem cells, that can help to treat not only the wear and tear component, but can also reduce the chronic inflammation in that joint as well. So I think that's a really good and interesting option to consider in that case where you have one or two joints that are still problematic in an RA patient. Overall, regenerative medicine does have a role in the treatment of rheumatoid arthritis, in particular when it comes to treating more common osteoarthritis and tendonitis issues. It can help if you have a couple of inflamed joints that are not improving with conventional treatment. You need to be smart about how you utilize these treatments, but it can be very effective in RA patients. If you found this content helpful and educational, consider subscribing to this video series or consider subscribing to the email newsletter as well. Thank you for your time. Have a good day and live well. Bye-bye.